they were to have a video for recruits back in those days, um, they'd have been hard pushed because they had dreadful conditions. Conditions were very hard, hard tack and shit biscuit. Weevils. Rotten meat. So it was pretty tough. They would start a very long journey and it would be a barrel of beer and a barrel of water. And they'd drink the beer first because that would go sour and then they'd hit the water and then that would be stale. So there were very little options for fluid aboard. And then of course rum came along and it had marvelous keeping properties. It's about 1730s that they brought in the rum ration. Well they were tanked out twice a day. In those days they got a half a pint twice daily. Yeah. And they drank it neat, that is without water, just straight down. All the ship stores are controlled by the purser, and the colloquial is the pusser. So they call it pusser's rum, and to say to someone, hey, it's pusser's, means it's very good, even today. The drink was issued at six bells in the forenoon watch, or 11 a.m., and was marked by the call up spirits! 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 Up spir